No. <laughs> oh my god! Whoo! I had to take a breather on that one. Holy sh! Hey, hey! Welcome to another episode of Living in God Life. I am Kevin the Skull Anderson. How are you? So, here's another episode of this how to series, this series that's going to teach you things if you haven't been taught these things in school before. Because what school will not teach you, I will. So, if you're ready for it, just feel free to sit down, open your mind, watch this video, and wake the fuck up! <laughs> Jesus Christ, the United Nations, was created to become the housing for the Illuminati Great Conspiracy. Now, ladies and gentlemen, you might not be aware of this, but people, exercise matters, okay? Mental and physical. Exercise matters so much. You do realize that that nearly a quarter of the world's population is obese, right? That's kind of uh, it's ridiculous, isn't it? I don't know. Make what you will of it. There are so many things you can do to exercise or release stress. Cause you know. Well, everything is exercise, technically. You doing work is exercise. Your brain is exercising right this minute, burning 50 calories an hour. You know, that's... How many is that? You know, 24 hours in a day, 50 calories an hour. Your brain burns 20... Well, brains... Your brain, you know, it burns like 1,200 calories a day. 1200 calories a day your brain burns but if you're taking in too much you might be in the red here because you'll be gaining weight if you're in the black you'll be staying the same weight or trying to lose weight or whatever you know it's always good to be in the black you understand I mean it's it's really not that hard What I'm doing now is exercise! Ho ho! Yeah! Woo! Ho ho! Yeah, let me go! What? I mean, playing music is technically exercise. You know? Eating technically is exercise. Walking around your neighborhood is exercise. There are so many things you can do that could be considered exercising. You know, drawing something that's exercising. You know, carrying stuff and unpacking and unloading things and unloads. That's exercise as well. Number of other things that be considered exercise that I'm not going to go into because you know what they are. You see, when you're playing a game, the objective is to get the highest score possible, or in some cases, the lowest score possible, right? Well, as it turns out, that's not always the case. There's a lot of strategy involved in some games to where you have to match a certain number of things in order to advance to the next level, like, like Bejeweled Stars! Of course, the latter example would be just any match three candy crush inspired game from the king mobile game industry i guess i don't know it's just it's just something worth thinking about when you're exercising mentally though you can also engage in mental relief through music for instance you know
You know, like that. You can play music every now and then, right? You can, you know, you can draw something. Like, 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 check this out. Check this out, for instance, okay? Okay? Check this out. Check this out. You can, you can draw something, for instance. Yeah. You know, you could draw a pig, for example. That's that's any Democrat in Congress, by the way. Take a good look at that. <laughs> look at what I made. I made a draw. I did a thing. Yeah. But you understand? You could do those three things and still engage in exercise. And, oh, like I mentioned earlier, you know, your brain is exercising now as you are watching this and as you're listening to me now your brain is burning 50 calories an hour for 24 hours a day seven days a week that would be 1200 calories a day because 24 divided by 2 is 12 you could you could do a math problem all right all right all right 10 squared, right? That's 100, right? 10 cubed is 1,000. 100 squared is 10,000. 100 cubed is a million. Okay? Now get this, get this one. Here's 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 by the way. All right, I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna lay out an example for you. All right, all right. So say that we're say that we're trying to find x, right? Say that we're trying to find x or some sh like that, and say that this is an acute scalene triangle of some sort. So obviously that's 90. And this is like say 33 and a third. Yeah? And that's x, right? So what we'd have to do we'd have to subtract 180 since each side of an equilateral triangle is 60 degrees which 60 times 3 is 180 minus 123 and a third all right now now no. hear hear me out hear me out you're going to like this stuff man this is this is good sh though you're going to like this Okay, so to find x, you'd have to find the difference of 180 and 123 and a third, which in this case would be 56 and two thirds. Yeah, man. Now you found x. It's x. Oh. I mean, yeah, you could do that. I mean, that's exercise too. Is it not? Come on now. You gotta give it up, man. You just, you know, it is so simple. <laughs> hey, you try to find the tone of this. That's like, that's like I would say that would have to be you know let's let's hear that again right hear that that is basically
that's basically B minor, I guess. B minor with a D flat in there somewhere in the middle. I don't know. You you get it, man. You you understand. But these things you could do all day, and they'd be perfectly fine. You know? Hey hey, look what I'm gonna do. Look what I'm gonna do. Synthesis. Synthesis. You know that's that's exercise. You could you could relieve mental stress by petting a dog, for example. All right, all right. I'll I'll use this one for example. Yes. See, this is a good dog. She barks all the time, but she can't help it. It's just how she is. You understand? I mean, yeah. She's just a dog. She's a good dog. She's a great dog, in fact. I've been taking care of her and about eight others and about five cats for some, how many years now? Close to three and a quarter years? But yeah, you know that stuff, people. And you'll be much better off. I can assure you that. You got me? <laughs> so ladies and gentlemen, we've entered the physical part of this. And I'd like to remind you, oh, and by the way, keep in mind, I'm going to be doing some exercises in this part. So just bear that in mind. So, we all know the sit-up, right? We all know the sit-up, don't we? Yep. We do that. You know, you could do push-ups as well. You know, you could do all that sh right? Everybody knows what a push-up is. We all know what that is, I mean, you know? You understand? You know, I mean, it's it's really not that hard. You understand? Ladies and gentlemen, when you're doing physical activity, you just got to take it one step at a time. You understand? You know, there's you know, there's a technique that I learned while I was in a when I was on a wrestling team back in middle school, and it was called the um the mountain man or something, you know, basically, basically, well, it was something of that nature, because, you know, the mountain climber or something, basically what we would do, we'd do this and just, you know, you know, Then do a Chinese she bang like that. You know? You know? I mean, yeah. Then, of course, you know, there's a squat. You can do a squat here and there. Now you can do a squat. You can put it back. Do this. There's a squat, right? Like that. You know, like that, right? You know, you can... You can do that with both of your arms, you know, stuff like that. 
Which is not that difficult to do, I've heard. It really isn't, I mean. Right? You'd have to think about it that way. You can just stretch your arms out like that. You know, basically, really, really simple stuff. You know? You could make your back a little more flexible while doing this. You know, just swaying the upper half of your body side to side, lower half as well while trying to keep your feet in place. Stuff like that, and basically you're ready to go, right? Yeah, I mean, you know, you could, you could pace around, you could walk around a little bit. What I normally do is when I'm bored or when I'm nervous, and I get nervous a lot, I pace around a lot. You know, just, just for the heck of it, because well, that's the only thing I know to do when it comes to coping sometimes. You know? I mean, yeah. Stuff like that. Oh, by the way, you guys may already know this, but there's such a thing as crunches, I've heard. You can do crunches, right? You can do crunches. Which it's not that it's not that hard to do. You just gotta make sure that you're in a good enough angle to where you can do it without hitting something. You know, you basically put your head in front of your hands and stuff, and you try to get halfway up. You understand? You could you could lift some heavy stuff. You know, it's such a shame that there's not any barbells around here. You know, not any dumbbells or anything like that. But the basic stuff, basic, 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 basic stuff. It's as basic as basic can get. You know, really, really basic stuff. By the way, don't know if you guys know this or not, but doing chores around the house is exercise too. Did you know that? Doing exercise can be the same thing as doing a chore around the house, like doing a dishes exercise. Anything that involves physical inertia is physically, technically exercise because that's what it is. Speaking in a minute, I'll be back. I'm gonna take some trash out. And I don't know how this is going to go, but I'm gonna be quite frank about it. And ladies and gentlemen, you know it as much as I do. It stands up in the shower Yeah, man. It's right rank in here, so I gotta take this trash out. Of course I do. You know, it's necessary. I'm just put you all this in here. You know, but technically stuff like that is considered exercise as well. You know, like I said, anything involving physical exertion, that's exercise, ladies and gents. That is exercise. And ladies and gentlemen, I don't really know how aware you are, but, but you know, I'm just I'm just a man trying to show you guys these things. I'm just an average ordinary human being, as you can tell. By the way, this won't take but a couple of moments. 
I'll be back, guys. You know when you when you do chores in the house, all right? I mean, seriously, guys, you cannot tell me that there's not a God. Not even Josh didn't want to say that. Seriously. Man, I'll tell you what. Huh? It's crazy. The stuff that you learn when you're not in school is absolutely Unbelievable. I'm talking about the public school system. The public school system is so socialistic, so democratic, so anti american I just, I don't understand it, guys. Do you? Yeah, that's what I thought. There's another section of this that's more, well, psychologically spiritual than anything. So I'm going to get to that. Right freaking now. All right, so you want to be a kind of person that likes to spiritually heal oneself, right? Well, you come to the right place. You came to the right place. Let me explain something to you people, okay? If you're going to spiritually heal yourself, the first thing that you would have to do is to do something that you are really, really good at. Like, in my case, it's writing, photography, occasional animation, music, singing, you know, filming myself is another that I'm really good at. You could do that. Or it's probably something else that you're good at, like you know, construction work, if you're good at that. You could probably be good at other things like knitting, like sewing. Stuff of that nature. I'll be back. I'll just cut all that shit out later. The point I'm trying to make is, you know, when you're spiritually healing yourself and you're doing something that you're really good at to spiritually heal yourself you know there are many things that you could do depending on what you're good at if you're into say building things you can do that if you're into sewing or knitting or creating your own paintings on a canvas you can do that composing things like letters or songs or compositions of that nature or artwork in general. Anything that has to do with art or entertainment, you could engage in that, right? Which, at the end of the day, it's really not that hard to manage. I mean, you got all these resources online that are free that you can use as in-browser apps where you can envision things, right? Envision things through said browser without having to do anything as much as to install it or download it or go through all the installation crap you know stuff like that and then you have to consider that those apps are free for free they're free basically is what I'm trying to say you understand the second thing that you would have to consider when you're trying to spiritually heal yourself is to engage in something like listening to music like for instance reading a book most people do that online now they're called ebooks but you could read an ebook or a book 
or some kind of newspaper or magazine. You could do chores around the house. You could dust something up to make it look showroom new. You know, take out the trash a little bit, dishwashing. You know, just your basic stuff that you'd normally do at a fast food restaurant that you don't already do at home. It's absolutely simple. And then, of course, there's a third option that you can take. A third option in particular. Oh, by the way, I had to get something from the mail earlier today. I had to go outside and get some mail. I'm not going to tell you what I'm going to do with that later, but I can tell you right now. I could care less. That's just the way I look at it. In any case... Without any regard, I'm just going to tell you straight up, it's so simple to just come up with something, to just ink something out on the fly. You understand? Me telling you all these things and learning how to live. You know, you can live frugally in life without having to spend a lot of money. And you could still get by with what you got. You understand? So with that being as simple as it is, it's really not that hard. And then you have to consider everything that goes with that, and then it's not so bad. So that being said, I'm just going to close this by basically summing up what took me about 30 minutes to do, and that's something that's quite simple. If you're going to exercise, you got to do it physically, meaning through exertion, through movement. Mentally, meaning through the brain or engaging in some activity. Or spiritually, like, like praying, for example. You can pray. I didn't mention this before. You can pray to God and you can ask Him to forgive you after you've forgiven yourself. This is what most preachers and pastors and reverends and fathers won't tell you. Because, not because they're not telling you this intentionally, they're not telling you this because they trust you to know it. Even though they themselves were trusted by other people who they grew up listening to, to know this. You understand? Because in life, the one key gateway to spiritual healing is by when you've done something wrong of any significance it could be of no significance or major significance all you gotta do is forgive yourself you gotta forgive yourself man you've got to forgive yourself that is it ladies and gentlemen for this episode of living the god life i am kevin the skull anderson you have been my loyal viewers watching from wherever it is that you watch it from you could be watching in an outhouse somewhere but basically that's pretty much it. You can feel free to share this with as many people as you like. You can share this with all your friends or don't. Your choice. You can like it. You can dislike it. You can comment on it. But most of all, you can indulge in the privilege of watching my other past Living the God Life, Living the God Life episodes from seasons one and this current one too. So... This is going to be it for season two. I'm going to be doing season three very soon. So in the meantime, you guys stay put and be lenient with me because I upload videos whenever the hell I want. Okay? Given that I have a lot to do during a day and I just don't have time for making videos much anymore because I don't allow myself to. And half of it is because I'm stressed out all the time. So I need to find ways to relieve that stress. I engage in composing environments, be they, be they visual or aural or environmental or mental of some kind or through a piece of paper. But you guys get it. I don't have to tell you. That is it, guys. So... I thank you very much for watching, and have a splendid, wonderful rest of your day.
Bye now.